Hello, this is William Reed with the EntrepreneursCreativeEdge.com. And in this third of the four in, in the series of, of the 10 ox herding pictures videos, uh, I'm going to talk about the sixth through the 10th of these stories. Now the sixth story is called Riding the Bull Home. And here is a picture of, now the young man has actually mounted the bull and is uh, not only tamed it, but is actually riding it uh, back to his home. I'll read the poem. Mounting the bull, slowly I return homeward. The voice of my flute intones through the evening. Measured with handbeats, the pulsating harmony, I direct the endless rhythm. Whoever hears this melody will join me. My favorite line in this is, whoever hears this melody will join me. Uh, I think that riding the bull is really about calmness. Uh, in other words, he's not even needing to walk on his own two feet. He's, the bull is carrying him along. And it's also about making it look easy. Because despite the fact that a great deal of effort and struggle went into the process, uh, you, you have um, internalized it to the point where uh, you do make it look easy, and others find that extremely attractive. I remember when I first started Aikido, the senseis that I was following made it look so easy that that was just enormously attractive, and that was also part of the inspiration for continuing my practice. So the question for you is, where are you leading people in your life, either in your company and for your children or your family, your friends? Where are you leading them, and is it a good path? is where you're taking people, where, you, where they will really be happy to be led. Now, the seventh story in the series is called The Bull Transcended. And here is the picture. And you see this serene uh, uh, scene by uh, the hut, and now the bull itself is no longer even in the picture because the bull has been transcended or... Uh, forgotten, if you will. And the poem reads, Astride the bull, I reach home. I am serene, the bull too can rest. The dawn has come. In blissful repose, with my thatched dwelling, I have abandoned the whip and the rope. And my favorite uh, line in here is, I am serene, the bull too can rest. So, the transcending uh, here is really transcending the process, the bull, the discipline. So for me, it's the feeling of joy that comes from movement in daily life that is, has become more like Aikido rather than just um, doing that in the dojo with training. So that you, um, you find that just the process of moving through your daily actions becomes sort of, um, well, a joyful experience. You just enjoy being in your body and just in integrating the process in your life. So for you, um, in whatever discipline you've chosen, whether it's your work or your hobby, uh, have you achieved a level whereby it just comes naturally and you, and you actually experience joy in your work? And if not, um, is it because you are not yet there on the path, but you are, you are moving in that direction, or is it because you're actually on the wrong path? Um, are you going in a place where you can experience joy and uh, feeling that you completely be yourself in what you do? Now, the eighth story in the series is called Both Bull and Self Transcended. And interestingly here, you have a blank, empty circle, which is not uh, so much emptiness as fullness. Uh, the poem reads... Whip, rope, person, and bull all merge in no thing. This heaven is so vast, no message can stain it. How may a snowflake exist in a raging fire? Here are the footprints of the patriarchs. And the patriarchs, of course, are the uh, teachers of Zen who, over the years who have passed on this message. Uh, this is a state which... In, in the Zen tradition represents a fairly high level of enlightenment. But uh, in fact, um, you might think of it 
uh, that at any level, that it's really just a, pe um, a period of reflection, whereby, well, my favorite line in the poem is, this heaven is so vast, no message can stain it. So because it's all about emptiness or fullness, if you will, it's really about the need to be silent and to appreciate the fullness. So it's really about meditation and rather than just uh, continuing to talk the message, actually just taking it in. So for me, it's more about meditation, and we have sword practices with, where you just extend the sword and, and, uh, and not even move, just extend the sword for 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and just take in and develop and feel that energy. So uh, for me, it's about the meditative side of the practice. And so for you, do you have time or do you make time for this kind of space in your life to really reflect on what it is that you have and to appreciate its full uh, nature rather than just being busy all the time in the pursuit of um, whatever?